<laughs> Good day, everyone. I rented a car with my new Hi. friend. Hi. There we go. <laughs> and we have made it to the tea plantation. In this video, I am going on an epic road trip with my British roomies because there is so much more to see around Chiang Rai aside from the white and blue temple. The guys were the designated drivers and I was in charge of the music. My playlist contains epic road trip music. I will link it below if you want to hear the songs we sang along to. Our first stop was the Choi Fong Tea Plantation and Cafeteria. At the restaurant or the cafeteria at the rice plantations, uh, rice, no, tea plantations, uh, you can get lots of different drinks and funny looking food as well made with the tea. So let's see what we will try. Right, that was interesting. We all had some kind of iced tea. Uh, I went for the um, right, the hold on, iced brown sugar bubble Thai tea. It was interesting. Not like anything I had ever had, but not bad. We then went for a walk through the tea plantations. We are on a little road trip north of the city at the moment. Our first stop is the tea plantation and to be honest, I'm completely out of control today. I am just along for the ride. Um, the car costs us 1,200 baht and well, the gas <laughs> costs us almost the same. So I think it should be around eight euros per person for pretty much half a day uh, because we only left at 12. Um, yeah, so I'm interested to see where else they take me. We should go to the Blue Temple, another temple for sunset, and there is an opium field somewhere to the north of the city. We'll see where we end up. We've made it to the second stop of the day and it is the Black House or the Bam Dam which is already closer to the city and it was created by an artist and inside apparently are very strange objects and um, art objects. So apart from the Black House being an art studio, apparently there is also an art market outside here. Uh, you can also buy some pineapple and we've seen lots of pineapple fields and people selling pineapples along the road so I guess it's a product of this region as well. honest this is giving me Viking vibes um, so there are a few structures here around the black house um, and some yeah strange things come check it out there's some bones maybe of an elephant right there if you stop in the middle and then you see inside Right, the acoustics in this white iglo are very entertaining. Oh, are they? Finally? Yeah? We thought you would never leave. <laughs> Submarine. Full bear. The boys. Ooh. Hooey. Guys, it's good the boys over here. Oh wait, if you just do the central sickle, one. Sickle. Then it falls up, 
Oh. Oh no, it's going in shock. Oh, isn't it crazy that it does that? They hide from the rain. Do they? Yeah, look. Yeah. So oh. that's why if you do it here, then it just bends. And then it all closes up. Wow. I didn't know it was crazy. because of the rain, but... Yeah. yeah, so the leaves don't get damaged. Oh. On my camera, it looks like you're in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a very bizarre place. Like, we don't really know what to make of it. Um, yeah. yeah. There's lots of yeah. dead animals yeah. everywhere. And some live ones too, which is fun. Yeah, we are um, starting to think that this man is a, a bit disturbing. <laughs> yeah, he has yeah. some issues. Instead of being called the Black House, this place should be called the Black Houses because that would make more sense. It's just a bunch, a bunch of weirdly decorated houses. I am very done with this place and I can't wait to get out because I feel visually violated with all the just after this disturbing visit we were off to the next place one of the main reasons why people come to Chiang Rai oh, we've on. arrived at the blue temple and this the is bars. where it gets tricky spaces because the metal bars you've just gone in the middle of two he will blend in with the blue temple <laughs> right. I was complaining in that bit quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> It's been such a poor part. The disrespect. <laughs> surprised by how much yellow the blue temple was covered in but nonetheless it was definitely one of the most unique temples I visited. As the end of the day was in sight we made our way to the best spot around the city to watch the sunset. Little did I know we were driving up to one of my favorite temples possibly of my entire trip. The Wat Hwai Plakang consists of a giant Buddha and its corresponding temples. We have just made it to our last stop of the day and it is the best spot to come for this sunset. And this is it. We only went inside the big Buddha and left the other temples to the side and went up straight away because we knew we were cutting it close with the sunset. As we wanted to get in the elevator, a tourist coming out of it told us to turn around and walk away from whatever was up there. But it was free and when we get told not to do something, we have to see what it's about. This way. Floor 25. Guys, this is taking ages. It was clear right away that this strangely decorated interior was the reason for him saying that. We made our way to the windows, which were not very accessible to watch the sunset. verdict is that yes it is a beautiful temple from the outside the inside is bizarre uh, and we did have a pretty good sunset with the sun setting right on top of the mountain I mean it's pretty cool pretty cool we've just learned also that the statue is 90 meters high and that they started this construction in 2007 so it's pretty recent after the Sun had set we hung around a bit longer until finally all the lights turned on 
and we saw the temple in another beautiful way. great even cooler to see all the lights turn on all of a sudden uh, we then made our way back to the hostel because tonight there is a big family dinner it is supposed to be in an all-you-can-eat Thai barbecue which I'm very looking forward to but first off to 7-eleven for some drinks the barbecue was great and we absolutely devoured it day two of the epic Chiang Rai road trip Today we are going to the south of the city to visit the White Temple and also a waterfall. We started the day well with a short but beautiful drive to a waterfall south of the city. The way there was super green. We have made it to the parking space of the Kum Korn waterfall. And apparently it should be a 20 minute walk now to get to the waterfall. I'm not sure if that's 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back or just 20 in total. But we'll see. And it's the end of rainy season so I am presuming that the waterfall will be pretty heavy or like very powerful so let's go and have a look I do have my rain jacket with me because we've learned in Mexico that that is not a luxury to miss when you're going to a waterfall in rainy season Great, the first resting area is at the waterfall. <laughs> it is a really pretty walk with all the bamboo and all the banana trees, but it is a pretty steep climb, but it's fine so far. I'm glad that we're doing this in the morning when it's not super hot yet. Once again, this activity came with a snake warning at the start. And if you've been here for a while, you will know how I feel about that been trying just not to think about it and hoping that uh, with three big guys walking in front of me and us staying on the path we will be fine and we won't see any but I'm definitely seeing things <laughs> but that's just me Whew. okay you can see the water stream down there not sure if you can see that but yeah I think we're getting close should be a few hundred meters away from the waterfall now Looks like we made it. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Just kidding. Right, there it is. made it to the second and probably last stop of this morning and that is uh, the White Temple. I'm not gonna lie I had a bit of a scare there um, on the way back from the waterfall um, but thank God Ilana was there with her good chat to take my mind off of the my arch enemies anyways uh, I'm fine now but I was pretty shaken up and I'm excited to see this White Temple people say it's bizarre and some even say it's not worth the visit but it is the most famous and iconic image of Chiang Rai. So here we are. I was surprised to see that once again, there were a lot of other buildings and structures around the main temple. It does not resemble like a real temple or like it could be a fake one but it definitely still is a real temple um, we do see very strange creatures once again and horns um, and lots of stuff that we saw oh my god that's is that frogs no it's it's fish it's fish I'm seeing things um, <laughs> anyways it is a bit similar to the black house that we saw yesterday uh, just looking at the elements um, but yeah, I'm curious if it's as bizarre on the inside. 
because we've all seen pictures from the outside but what's it like inside right so inside is mostly golden paintings um, and a statue of the Dalai Lama um, and it is mostly religious but yeah there is a skull involved in um, the pictures or the paintings in the temple as well it is a bit underwhelming I would say and there's just lots of people because it is the most popular thing here but it is worth a visit it's a very unique temple I don't think you will easily find one anything like this did you get that? did you get me head it? I just them. <laughs> don't forget to turn the notification bell on We have made it back to the city and we have left the car in pristine condition thanks to our good drivers all the guys took turns driving um, i didn't but they are from the uk so they are used to driving on the left side of the road and used to those cars being that way even though i did do it in namibia but i was not gonna do it here again um, so we are now going to check out a place for lunch that was recommended to us and i'm so dead um, I'm just gonna have lunch and then probably have the biggest food coma and take a big nap. That lunch was pretty good. You can see the clock tower behind me and when we passed by here on the hour it was ringing. Um, so if you do want to see the clock tower, make sure you see it on the hour to hear the sound it makes. I had a coffee before going back to the hostel at this lovely cafe. If you ever wanted to try a fruity coffee, which to me seems very strange, this is the place to be. In the evening, I explored my favorite market of my whole two-month trip, the Saturday night market in Chiang Rai. I made a separate video about my local experiences in Chiang Rai, so make sure to check it out. I can't wait to share more of my time in Asia with you guys. If you like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see the next of all the videos in Southeast Asia. I definitely hope to see you in the next video. Bye!